Scottish Terrier breed specific legislation. Is it justified? Breed specific legislation, commonly referred to as BSL, is a law or set of regulations that targets specific dog breeds deemed dangerous. These laws are put in place with the intention of protecting the public from perceived dangerous breeds. In this article, we will discuss the Scottish Terrier breed and analyze whether breed-specific legislation is justified in its case. 1. Understanding the Scottish Terrier Breed The Scottish Terrier, also known as the Scotty, is a small to medium-sized terrier breed that originated in Scotland. Known for their distinctive appearance with a wiry coat and upright ears, these dogs are loved for their feisty personality and loyalty to their owners. With a strong prey drive, they were originally bred to hunt vermin, making them persistent and determined in their pursuits. 2. The Perception of Danger BSL often arises due to a perception that certain dog breeds are inherently dangerous. In the case of the Scottish Terrier, they are not typically identified as a dangerous breed. According to various organizations, including the American Kennel Club and the United Kennel Club, Scotties are described as alert, independent, and confident. 3. Lack of scientific evidence One of the biggest criticisms of breed-specific legislation is the lack of scientific evidence to support the notion that certain breeds are more prone to aggression. Studies have shown that a dog's behavior is primarily influenced by individual experiences, socialization, and overall upbringing rather than their breed. Punishing an entire breed for the actions of a few is therefore unjustifiable for responsible ownership and education. Instead of targeting specific breeds, it is crucial to emphasize responsible ownership and public education. Encouraging potential dog owners to research and educate themselves about the responsibilities and requirements of owning a Scottish Terrier can help reduce risks associated with any breed. Providing resources and support for responsible ownership is an effective alternative to punitive BSL measures. 5. Alternative Approaches A more effective way to address concerns related to dog bites and aggressive behavior is implementing comprehensive, community-based strategies. This includes enforcing leash laws, promoting early socialization and positive reinforcement training, and holding owners accountable for their dog's behavior. Focusing on these approaches can help create safer communities without singling out specific breeds. 6. Dangerous Dogs Act and Its Flaws In the United Kingdom, the Dangerous Dogs Act of 1991 is an example of breed-specific legislation. It bans ownership of four specific dog breeds, including Pit Bull Terriers, Japanese Tosas, Dogo Argentinos, and Fila Brasileiros. However, this act has attracted criticism for its lack of effectiveness in reducing dog attacks and its unjust treatment of innocent dogs based solely on their appearance. 7. The Human Factor It is important to acknowledge that the responsibility for a dog's behavior lies primarily with its owner. Neglectful or abusive owners are more likely to have aggressive dogs, regardless of the breed. By holding owners accountable for their dog's actions and imposing stricter penalties for irresponsible ownership, the focus can shift from blaming specific breeds to promoting responsible dog ownership. Conclusion In the case of the Scottish Terrier, breed-specific legislation appears to be unjustified. These dogs are not commonly associated with aggression, and evidence suggests that behavior is influenced more by individual experiences rather than breed predisposition. Instead of enacting discriminatory laws that disproportionately affect certain breeds, efforts should be redirected to promoting responsible ownership and educating the public on proper dog handling. By focusing on these areas, we can create safer communities without unnecessarily stigmatizing specific breeds.